Hey guys, today's video is going to be a first impression on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I got this in the Sephora VIB sale and it's taken me this long to try it. As you guys know, I did just have a baby. If you hear cute little baby noises, he is beside me. He woke up during me filming the first part of this video, so he's going to be hanging out with me for a minute. So I did get the shade 1W2 Sand. I do have a warm undertone. Um, I feel like it is a little bit yellow for me. Well, this is a kind of cult classic foundation between people that have really oily skin, which I do have, but I do have some drier areas. So the claims of this foundation are for all skin types. Um, I so far disagree with that. Um, it says 15 hour staying power, looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, non-stop activity, won't change color, smudge, or come off on clothes. Lightweight and comfortable. You won't believe it's long wear, medium, buildable coverage. Okay, I agree with that. Won't clog pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist, and ophthalmologist, not sure if I said that correctly, tested. So. It is super matte. I did, as you'll see in the video, I have to apply some Fix Plus to bring a little bit of life back to my skin. I felt like it was a little too matte, but we will see if that is beneficial for later in the day, if it will control my oils. Um, I do agree with it being medium buildable coverage. I did build it up quite a bit on my acne scars, and I think it did a pretty good job of covering them. These super dark, like the darkest spots I have didn't quite get covered, but they never do. So I'm not gonna hold that against it. So far, I'm pretty pleased with how it is looking. I am going to be doing check-ins throughout the day. So if you're interested in seeing my first impressions on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, then just keep watching. All right, so I've already primed my face. I've used the Too Faced Hangover RX on the perimeter of my face. It's been quite a while since I did my morning skincare and I was just feeling a little bit dry around the edges and over my acne and then in the center of my face I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the pore minimizing one. So I primed my skin using these two products. I have my MAC foundation pump that I bought. I'm going to put it on top of the bottle. I heard that this fits really well on here. And I've had this past the 30 days or whatever before I can return it. So I'm just going to put this on here. I think this is going to be a pretty decent match for me now. I bought it with the intention of using it in the summertime, so hopefully the color's okay. Like I said, I can't really return it anyway, so I'm going to have to make it work regardless. I'm just going to use my Bath & Body Works candle lid. I'm going to apply this using the Sephora Mineral Powder brush, the number 45. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes. As you guys can see, I have quite a lot of acne scarring um, right here and on this section of my cheek on this side. I have no uh, active breakouts currently. This is all scarring. So we'll see how this covers it up. And I have a little bit of redness on my cheeks right here. I think this is going to be a pretty decent match for my neck. It is a very thick foundation, which I knew going into it, but I was looking for something that would be really full coverage and mm, it's done a decent job on the first pass except for a lot of these really pigmented spots are not getting covered. Okay, so this is what we're looking like with one layer on half of my face. It is clinging to the dryness I have right here at my hairline, even though I did apply my Hangover RX primer there. So it wasn't as dry as it usually is, but it is clinging. I feel like the coverage is pretty good on the first 
layer like I would be comfortable going out like this I don't necessarily need a super full coverage foundation but I mean I would like to have one in my collection and the acne scarring is a lot less obvious than on this side of my face so that's the difference there this has one layer of the Estee Lauder double layer and this has no foundation before I go on on the other side I'm gonna see if I can build this up a little I'm using a bit more of a stippling motion rather than rubbing and see if that helps and yeah that helped significantly but now it does look very foundation-y but my pores are looking really good I did use that pore minimizing primer but sometimes that isn't always enough okay so I'm really happy with the coverage on the right side of my face I'm going to quickly apply to the left side of my face concealer or anything on yet I think the color is actually a pretty perfect match for me right now it looks a little dark um, in camera but in person it does look pretty good it might still be a little orangey but the neutral shade was too pink for me so I guess I'd have to mix the two which I don't really want to do I think bronzer and stuff will fix this Pretty easily. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. Um, my pores are looking pretty good. I have really large pores on my cheeks, and with that primer, this foundation is sitting on top of it really well. But if you can see on my nose, it is kind of gathering any dry patches I have, which I don't generally have a problem with that and then same with um, on my forehead here it is doing the same thing so I'm hoping you guys are able to see it grabbing here even though I used that primer but other than that so far it's not creasing in my smile lines or I have a problem with it creasing in my chin right here or around my nose I'm going to quickly apply my concealer and powder and I'll be back and give you guys a check-in time. the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Light and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral and I feel like that was a really good color combination to bake under the eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. Loose HD Powder. This was in my favorites video. I have been loving this. I'm going to let this bake sit and then I'll finish up the rest of my face and finish getting ready. As you can hear, we have a baby waking up from his nap. It is currently 11.05 a.m. I'm getting a little bit late to start to the day. I've already gotten a lot done though, just not filming like I planned. So I will check in with you as soon as I'm done my full face of makeup and then I'll try and check in a few times throughout the day to give you an update on the foundation. But so far, of course, the bake is still sitting on my skin. I'm really happy with how this is looking. My pores look great which I don't always have the greatest luck with. I am really happy with this foundation. I'm not someone that needs my skin to look completely flawless. I'm not self-conscious about my acne scars. So, so far I'm pretty happy. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. 
Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on. If you are wondering for bronzer slash blush, I did a little bit of a combo situation. I have MAC Harmony blush. That's what that looks like for highlight. Um, I have on Ofra Rodeo Drive. Everything else I have on my face will also be listed below. Um, I did just kind of move my bake, like spread it out to the rest of my face instead of flicking it off to set this foundation. Um, I feel like it is looking a little flatter than I would like. It is super matte. I do have super oily skin. Um, it does kind of take, you know, midday for my oils to come through. Just to bring a little bit of life back to my face though, I am going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. And that will also just help set everything else in. Yeah, I feel like that helped quite a bit. So, so far I do really like this foundation and like I said earlier, I'll be checking in every few hours if I can remember, so I'll see you at the first check-in. Hey guys, so I'm back with my first check-in. Sorry it's taken so long, but I just got really busy. I'm actually trying to get the footage from earlier in this video onto my computer without looking orange because I am not orange. In my last few videos, the color has been completely off. But I use Windows Movie Maker and you can't adjust saturation in that program. And when I am filming with my camera, so I'm actually using my phone right now, in the viewfinder I look perfectly normal, like the color is completely fine. But then when I import the, import the footage onto my computer, all of a sudden the saturation is way too high. And I'm completely orange, my lips look like they're orange, like my hair is orange, everything is just orange. I'm getting really frustrated with that, but anyways, um, I didn't retouch anything, not even my lipstick, so this has been on for over six hours now. It is 5.12 p.m. I'm really happy with how this is looking. This is probably going to be one of my favorite foundations. I am a little oily, but this isn't even enough where I would feel the need to blot it off yet, and for six hours of wear, that is unheard of for me. I can usually only wear foundations for maybe a max of like four or five hours before they just look completely ridiculous. So when I went to work, I just never wore it. This is something that I would feel comfortable wearing to work. So it is looking particularly bad on my forehead here where I have the most dryness. I don't have zoom, so we're just going to get a little closer. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but like right here, it's starting to like cake up and like up to my hairline. It's just a little cakey. It's not really breaking down. It's just clinging to the dry patches. And my pores look, I mean, they're visible, but they look great compared to what they look like with other foundations. Like they're not as enlarged as they are on other days, but I'm not getting any creasing in the nose area. This is a spot where foundation tends to gather for me just because my chin is so pronounced, I guess. Um, and even that is not bad. It's not perfect. I mean, I am a little shiny, but when I touch it, it's not like super greasy. So that is okay for me. I mean like my highlight is still there, you can see I only applied a little bit of bronzer slash blush so it is still there and now you can kind of see the color match. It's actually pretty good for me. Um, I know in my last clips it looked like really stark but at least for me looking in the screen it looks like a pretty good match and when I look in the mirror uh, just in my house it looks like a good match to me. So I'm glad that I picked this color and that's good since I can't return it just because it took me so long to try it. So I'm really happy with how it's holding up so far. I have had issues where foundations look really great until all of a sudden they look horrible. So I will check in before I remove my makeup, but I think it's looking pretty good for six hours so far. I'll see you in my next check-in. 
Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. I'm just standing in my bathroom with these really bright, awful lights on my face. It is now 10.24 at night, so it's been on for almost 12 hours, which I think is a really good long wear test for you guys. It is starting to look pretty oily, but I mean, 12 hours is a significant amount of time and it's honestly not breaking up as much as I would have expected. Like it has worn off on my chin right here, but I might have rubbed that off by accident considering everything else is still looking pretty intact. I mean, it is still clinging to the dryness over here like we saw earlier, but it hasn't like broken apart around my nose, which is usually the first spot on my face that the foundation will be kind of eaten away is like right in here and then usually across the cheek area and my chin. So I must have accidentally wiped that spot off, but overall, I'm really happy with this foundation. I can definitely see why it is a cult classic among the oily girls in the beauty community. I will definitely continue using it. I'm really happy with my shade choice. Actually in this lighting, you can kind of see it matches pretty well with my neck and my hand. If you enjoyed this type of video and would like to see more on my channel, be sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye!